Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Sweet In 2. Last time we ran for our lives against Necklord and his horde of zombies. And uh, basically, yeah, there was no turning back. And we went and we lived in a cabin in the woods with Nanami where nobody can get us. But that ends the game prematurely. Did I fool anybody with that ending? Probably not. So let's say no to that. And let's go back to where all of our friends are, where Shu is, with the slap heard around the world, uh, where Apple is, where Flick is, and they're all over in Krom Village. So I'm going to go through all this mess and meet you there. Okay, I made my way here. Remember, this is the town to the southwest of Tinto. So, let's just go over here to the Elder's House. And hey, it's Victor. Do you know that we left? Do you know that we escaped? Yeah, Nanami takes all the blame. Oh. Wow, you're actually being kind of nice to us. Woohoo! We get the blinking mirror back! Sweet! That's all I really care about! Yay! Huh. Maybe, you know, Victor's being a nice guy. He knows that we're under a lot of stress, and he's just trying to calm ourselves, maybe? Um, where did Nami go to? Did she vanish? Everybody just vanishes. Hey, Victor. What's going on? Oh, yeah, that's right. Ridley, he kind of died last time. Oh, Well, I'm not crying. I never really used him anyway. It's not like Flick died. Oh. Oh. Good. Okay. So nobody else knows about our cowardice. Um, Victor and Shu saw to that. So that's good. We don't have to explain anything to anybody else. What are they doing? Where are they going? A rope and a ladder? Well, I mean, I'm glad that they survived, because last time that we came to this village, the zombie horde was attacking and killing random NPCs, but everybody here seems fine. Oh! Okay. I'm gonna imagine that Marlowe is in love with Lo Wen. Or maybe Lily. Who knows? Anyway, off those two randoms go. Hey, Nanami. Okay. So I guess we have to do this. We have to go out and we have to um, defeat Necklord after all. All of our running away achieved nothing. Con and Sierra? Okay. Oh, yeah, Simon Belmont. Remember him? Yeah. He was here the first time around. And Sierra, remember her? She was that pretty lady at the inn. Okay, she looks like a zombie to me. Like what? Blood? Is that what you want? <laughs> Like, her hair doesn't even look natural. Yeah, the old vampire hag. <laughs> oh! Oh! Got you. So, remember the mine tunnel that we went to when we first got to this area? It actually connects to Tinto, because we saw both entrances, and it is a long dungeon. So we have to sneak into Tinkto, defeat Necklord, save Lily, and save Lo Wen. Oh, good. So we're going to be attacking on two fronts. Gustav's going to be coming through the um, entrance, and we're going to be coming through the mine. Got you. Oh, 
And uh, Khan actually joins the party, who's not half bad with the Resurrection Rune, with level 4 spells, with level 12 weapons. Yeah, he's uh, pretty sweet. So it looks like... Who's... I guess Flick is out of my party. Um, yeah, we'll stick him in. Why not? This is fine. Let's see. Khan is medium range. Let's put Luke back here. Victor, of course, needs to go up front. Um, yeah, we're fine. Hey there, Sierra. Yeah, now she joins up with the convoy, who is also halfway decent, I've gotta say. She has the Darkness Rune, though, which really isn't going to be helping us um, against Necklord, so I'm gonna stick her in the convoy. But where's Flick? How come he's not with me? Unfortunately, McDoll isn't with me either, I don't think. She doesn't want water, she wants blood. What is wrong with you? Uh, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Yeah, so if you want to, you can go ahead and talk to Leona, who will let you change up your formation, but unfortunately, you have to go all the way back to Greg Minster if you want McDoll, and I am not doing that. That's kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Okay, yeah, we got it. Okay, so, now that we've gotten everything taken care of, and unfortunately Flick isn't with me, I could just cry. Oh, it sucks that he's not with me, but oh well. Uh, make sure that you have some people with resurrection runes. I had Flick with a resurrection rune, but right, oh no, 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 I had McDoll with a resurrection rune. Um, but Ryu has one now, Khan has one now, um, and also I think that, oh, well, you're healed up, but you're not healed up. I guess from the first time that we used him, he never healed. So um, let's run over to the inn and do that real quick. Say that you're going to stay. Don't actually stay. Back out. And then that should heal him. Yeah, okay, perfect. That got his magic back up. Awesome. You're also going to want to make sure that you have plenty of lightning runes to go around on your various... Uh, characters here. So I have Luke, I have Tengar, both of them have lightning runes, Ryu has a lightning rune, we should be fine. This mine is long. This mine is complex. This mine is a royal pain in the ass, and I'm not really a fan of this place, but there is a lot of treasure to be had, so that's something, I guess. Get some dancing flames, not that I really care. Scrolls at this point, I'm not really going to be utilizing them. Um, you know what, actually, let me look at cons. Oh, wow, leather hat, leather cape, wow, that's bad. Do I have anything? No, I really don't. Um, I can go ahead and give this to him, I might as well. Speaking of scrolls, um... You know what? He has this fire emblem. I can give that to him, too. So that way he has access to lightning. Um, I mean, at least it's it's something for him to have. So that's okay, I guess. I'm getting really lucky with the encounters here. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. But, man, normally I have a shit ton of encounters in here, and I'm getting, like, nothing. Hell yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! No, believe me, I'm not complaining. Okay, that was just some more skeletons. We've seen skeletons before. In fact, we saw them last episode, so not concerned about that. Although, here we have a uni unicombi, as well as zombies. I think that we've seen the zombies before. However, they can drop power gloves. There's two separate zombies here. One's with hair, and one's without hair. The ones that have the hair can drop power gloves. The ones with did you see that damage from Victor? Holy crap! Anyway, the ones uh, without hair cannot drop them. The Unicombi can drop fire sealing runes, so that's not half bad. We'll get a Stone of Magic Defense. Let's go ahead and use that on Ryu. Can I equip? No, I can't. Okay, so let's move on. Yeah, we're going to be getting plenty of um, vases and things like that in here too. Yeah, Victor with his friendship rune, with the double beat rune, with fury... Like, he is just destroying everyone and everything in this place. It's so good. If you go here, you'll kind of fall off a ledge, 
and it will be a super secret shortcut back to the world map. If you want to do that, do that. I don't want to, though, so I'm not going to. However, I am going to go here and get a Master Garb, one of the best pieces of armor in the game. Look at this! This is crazy town! Definitely go ahead and put this on Ryu. Yes, please! Whee! Yeah, another shoots and ladders type thing, but you ain't seen nothing yet. We're going to have plenty more of that relatively shortly. Okay, so here, let's go through this bottom path first. And continue along our way. Let's see. Yeah, this place... Long, complex, winding, and annoying. Going through here without a, um, without a map, it's a losing proposition. Anyway, get an old book. And a window set number five! Remember whenever I was having major issues getting that window set to drop? And then I said, hey, don't worry about it, we'll get one soon enough? This is the one that's soon enough. So, after all this, um, I don't know, this little scenario is over with, then we can, um, grab that person that I didn't recruit before. Here we get a silver necklace. And, uh, oh, hey, and who are you down here? Hmm, keep him in mind for later we can't even recruit him now anyway and yeah we got a lot of shoots and ladders going on here it's damned annoying so go down this one and we can't get that treasure yet either we'll get that soon enough let's go down this one and let's see huh there's that guy before let's uh see if we can't get to him and we might as well grab this treasure while we're here a double strike rune not half bad hey there random guy living in a cave a great sorcerer without peer. Better than Luke? Oh, okay. If you say so, you remind me of somebody hiding in a cave in the first game. Yeah. Anyway, let's go over here. We have a journeyman's crystal, but let's not use that quite yet. Well, I mean, you could. You could save if you want to, but really what I want to do is get a wind hat. Um, let's see. Where is that wind hat? There it is. Ooh! Wow! Ah, oh, okay, Nanami already has one. Um, this is some pretty nice stuff. Ryu only has a silver hat? Seriously? Um, okay. Let's go ahead and give it that. And then, okay, the silver hat. Who am I give? I can give this to Tengar. Not half bad. Um, nobody can use that. Let's get his headgear. Oh, really? The headgear's better? Wow, Victor has, like, nothing going on there. Uh, this ninja suit. Okay, nobody wants that either. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Slide down that little chute there, and then head back on over to this journeyman's crystal, but again, don't use it. Let's keep going. To get this treasure, the star earrings. Let's see. Oh, that's actually really crappy. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the star earrings. But with that, we've gotten all the treasures in this particular room. So let's move on with life, and um, I'm still going to ignore the Journeyman's Crystal because I just don't have time for saving. I saved, I, I saved between episodes. I'm good like that. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, pretty uh, stand, oh, what's this? Huh, oh, some mining equipment. We must be getting close. Hmm. Can we move this? We can! Yeah, this is uh, just a little puzzle that we have going on here. We haven't had to do this in quite a bit of time since, like, the very beginning of the game. It's like they make you do this and then they forget that you can even push stuff until you come here. Come on. Like, see? Arrgh! I hate puzzles like this. Come on. Oh, no! Come on. Come on! Just, I just, no, oh, no! <laughs> Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, thank god! Man! Oh. Yeah, there's a reason why I hate stuff like this. Like, seriously? Come on! Oh, yeah, that's another slide. Lovely. The real reason for that kind of a box puzzle, though, is because you can enter this mine on the Tinto side, but you couldn't get any further than that box, because you would be stuck right there. Um... So that's why they put it there, if you're 
wondering what the game mechanics were behind it. But anyway, we've dealt with it now. Finally. Oh, everything's symmetrical. What does that mean? Why should Victor go first? What's happening? Is everything all right? Whoa! Fucking cool. Yeah. Nothing like PS1 SF FMVs against the Stone Golem himself. Yikes. For boss time. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Um, you know what? I kind of want to save some of my... Um, you know what? Let's use... Eh, why not? We'll use a family attack. I kind of want to save some of my spells here. So we're going to have Khan attack. Victor just attack. Uh, Tengar. You can go all out, though. Let's let's not use a Thor shot, though. That's a bit too much. We'll use a Bolt of Wrath. And Luke, same thing. Ooh, he has two Thor shots, though. Eh, we'll use a Bolt of Wrath. Why not? Here's the deal. We're going to have to kill Necklord using the same amount of MP and stuff that we have to kill this Stone Golem with as well. So um, that's why we're trying to conserve some of our some of our magics. However, look at that damage. 1700! This guy is weak versus lightning. So that's why I think that level 3 spells will be enough to uh, put him out of his misery there. Plus, Victor going all out with his massive attacks. We got a united attack between Ryu and Nami. Whoa. Yikes. Whoa, holy crap. Look at that damage. Ooh, Luke's down for the count. That's no good. Ryu, let's have you use your Bright Shield Rune. We use a Great Blessing. That should be all that we really need. You know what, Khan? You have the Bolt of Wrath. We'll go ahead and use that. Why not? Um, you don't really have anything going on, Nanami. Tengar, keep on going with that uh, Bolt of Wrath. Luke, let's have you go with another Bolt of Wrath as well. And hopefully, this should put this guy down for the count. Anybody else remember the other Stone Golem? that's able to attack like that, using a blast out of its eyeballs from the original Breath of Fire. Yeah, I'm getting some throwbacks from here. Man, the amount of damage that they're able to do with a level three lightning spell against this guy is just crazy. Whoa. Did we get him? Woohoo, we got him. Sweet. Yeah, that's why I said don't... Whoa, 50,000 potch! Yeah, that's why I said don't really bother wasting the level 4 um, stuff on him. Did Sierra want Victor to die? Like, what's going on there? Um, let's go ahead and use your Bright Shield rune. He does have the Magic Draining rune on him, so we should be able to get some more level 1 charges if need B, but it's not that big of a deal. So, let's, uh, we're almost through here, actually. We're kind of out of the dangerous mine, and we're into the real mine that the people of Tinto use, um, for their economy. You would think it would be a little bit safer here, but it's not, against Necklordia herself. The nice thing about Nec Neclordia back there is that she can drop Master Garbs. That same thing that we got in the treasure chest back there that's ridiculous. Oh, we got some power gloves. It's kind of nice. Not the shitty add-on for the NES, but it's there. What the hell did it... Okay, there it is. Uh, whoa! Hey, awesome. Um, you know what? I think that Victor... Okay. Um... How much, what, what does the Fire Emblem give again? Hold on, I just need to look at this real fast. Um, oh yeah, this is just better in every in every which way possible. And Victor's strength is through the roof. And I definitely do want to, um, to capitalize on that. I like the little elevators. Although... Isn't it interesting that the one guy who joined our castle was like, Hey, I got this great invention. The, uh, the elevator. No one else has ever seen an elevator before. Yet here in this mineshaft, they have elevators. Kind of just a little strange thing, but something that I would 
point out nonetheless. Let's go over here for our last treasure of this dungeon, a Cape of Darkness, which is completely useless. But, you know, I have completion issues, so I have to get everything. Let's be on our way. Oh, another elevator. Well, looky there. This one took us all the way up the shaft. Huh, <laughs> up the shaft. I need to stop. I need to stop. If you didn't get it, don't worry about it. I need to stop. But we've made our way into Tinto. Woohoo! Finally. Yeah, where is Necklord? Oh, the best place. The highest place? Yeah. So we're going to be finding and defeating Necklord himself next time on Let's Play Sweet in 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.